Hello everybody, Hal here, and today we're going to be jumping into Princess and Conquest. I know this is a game that piques your pervy little mind, so I'm going to play it. And I'm going to start a new game. I've been playing a little bit, so I kind of know the ins and outs and a little bit, although I haven't beaten any of the game. I am going to skip the tutorial because it's quite long and if you want the story if you want the story you should play it on your own All right you should buy the game I believe it's $20 on Steam okay so hold on one second this is still too loud I've lowered it to almost nothing and it's still so loud but we are a human knight traveling through the kingdom, fornicating and trying to do good deeds. And really just trying to, I don't know, find an ending, right? You can, there are multiple endings with which to beat this game. And uh, let's see, what do I want to do here? I don't mind if, I think I want to do, is it this one? Is it this one? No. No, which one is it? Stud Knight, right? Increase Endurance, Kingdom Lewdness. This is, now this is a good trait because I'm going to buy an item which allows me to make money off certain interactions. And I'm going to take the candle because it's more effective. And I'm not looking to do the Dragon Princess 2 uh, ending yet. Let's uh, let's let's change some settings real fast. So first of all, we're gonna dash at all times. It saves our day. We're gonna turn this off because I, I don't want to have to censor that. Uh, no, yes, that's fine. That's fine. Weight gains and losses. Well, I don't actually. I don't ever eat. Oh, let's get. Let's go inside. Let's pick up a quest. Find something to do. Now, as you know, as you can see, there's so much stuff to click on, but I'm going to skip past most of it since I know what it does. Welcome, Knight. Are you here to embark on a new quest? Absolutely. Level zero. We're going to do... What is this one? Uh, I should read that. I don't care much. It's not worth much, so I don't want to do this one. We're going to do food fetchers because it's worth a lot more. Right now, swirlies is very important. And I have to do that. So let's go, I don't know what items I need, but we're gonna explore the map and probably come across those items anyways. So first we're gonna head down to the desert. And we don't need roses, okay. I don't know what we need then. If we don't need roses, what do we need? Probably rice and malt, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna free, I'm gonna get a free 750. 750 swirlies and swirlies is the economy of this game it is the currency you can use it to level up your character you can use it to buy items and then other things but it's the only form of in-game currency now i'm going to center this out you might be able to tell what she's doing but i don't think youtube's comfortable with this oh water finally i was shriveled to bark and roots Yet look upon me now. Mine foliage is thick and mine udders are full of syrup. Say, what is that? Was it thou whom hope me? Yes. Mine every leaves thanks thou, knight. Acerola is an corky tree, yet I shall try to help thou as I can. I'm pleased to meet you, Miss Acerola. Can't say your kind is common around here. Mine kind? I has trouble understanding. Oh, well, I mean, you know. Plant girls? Oh ho ho, I see what thou mean now. That it much is true. Most of mine sisters are still asleep. Since the time of great turmoils, we prefer to forbear showing us to the rootless. Yet I shall compose an exception for thou. I, I'm glad I can call you. My, from my udders thou shall feed. Come again? Mine syrup endues life. Surely it shall bring much aid to the kingdom. Now, squeeze. Now I get acerola syrup. Acerola syrup. 
But I can come back to her every day and, and collect that, and it's worth 750 uh, swirlies, which is good. So now I am going to another area, which I do daily uh, in this game, for the early amount of swirlies that I need, and the potential to get a better weapon and some good experience. Okay, so let me let me check my quest here because apparently kelp. Where do I get kelp? That is something I need to pick up, and I don't know where to get it. Kelp, kelp, kelp. I have not received this quest before. Uh oh. Already? Look what the Werven dragged in. Another rude, uneducated knight walking these lands. We've got no use for the likes of you around here. I'll make a frozen statue out of you. I'm sure you'd look better that way. No hard feelings. Blame your bad luck for crossing my path in this sorry state of yours. You faint. If you're lucky, someone will take pity on you and bring you somewhere safe. And I believe we just end up back at the inn. And hopefully we haven't lost a day, because I, I really want to do one quest per day. I don't want to miss a single one. I don't believe I have. But now where do I get kelp? I think it would be here. No. Oh boy. So... I have no idea. I don't know where I'm supposed to get this item, so let's go do... Let's go do this. I want to. I do. I want to do this every day for two, twenty-seven hundred to three thousand swirlies and a potential upgrade on both weapons and items, and also these cogs. These cogs will come in handy. I don't know what this is for, but I always pick it up. Oh, and there's a rare one here too. Good. So that's a guaranteed drop. No, I don't want to talk to it. It's a guaranteed drop, but since I'm level 1 and I don't have any upgrades, I don't have a strong weapon, these are going to take a while to kill. So I will skip past this, and I will see you when I'm done. Alright, I'm back. And as you can see, I have 3,000 extra swirlies. I killed the mob, and I did get an item, although... It is not one I really need. It's a, a wand, a staff, which I don't know who this is for. I don't know who uses staffs. It's not for my guys, so it's an unfortunate upgrade. But I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching. If you like the game, you can buy it on Steam for about $20. I don't remember the price. And I know you haven't seen much. Trust me, this game has a lot more. There's a lot more to see, but we're getting slowly into the what should we do first you know what, what are the things we should accomplish before we set out and really get into the fleshy parts the fleshy parts of the game but if you liked it if you enjoyed my content don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe down below and maybe you get kelp here yes wait no it's not nectar anyways i'll see you next time